Before we get into this video, guys, if you guys are looking to improve your skills in the sticks, I will leave a link down in the description. Go check out Fiddle Grips and use Rich at checkout for 10% off. What's up, guys, and welcome to a video that I have wanted to release ever since I started doing Legend Reviews, and it all is thanks to my man Knife, who lent me his account. Just look at this team. Absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, guys, I am doing a rude hullet review today, but I also have Rebury, Pogba, Dennis Bergkamp, Patrick Vieira, uh, Ramos, Danny Alves, Inform Laporte, Bravo. This team is absolutely insane, and Knife's Club is ridiculous. And man, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I mean, that's the biggest shout out I can give you, man, and I just thank you for trusting me and giving me your account, and um, just for others, others that are watching, obviously, um, you guys can trust me, I mean, I'm not going to take your players or anything, I really just want to get out some quality reviews, and guys, Rude Hullet, um, obviously you guys can see there the 4-3-3, fourth variation formation, I haven't met Striker, I actually played him in Cam, uh, switched with Dennis Burkamp for the first three games, I'm in a different, different formation as well. Um, where Pogba and Vieira were the center defensive mids, and Hullet was a cam, and uh, Bergkamp was a striker. Um, but then I switched it to the 4 3 3 fourth variation and put him up to striker. So three games in cam and three games in striker. And as this video goes on, I'm going to kind of let you guys know um, where he played better for me. Now, guys, Hullet is just, is just something else, and there's nothing really much else I can say about it. He is just that good. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the face card stats for Rude Hullet. 86 pace, 83 shot, 89 passing, 86 dribbling, 79 defense, and 82 physical. He also has a 4-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, and that high medium work rate. Now guys, there it says I played 7 games, but I think Knife played a game with him. Um, I actually played 6 games with Hullet, and I did score 7 goals with 6 assists. It says 6 goals there. I'm not sure why I lost on the seventh goal, maybe it was to a rage quit, um, but I'm not 100% sure, but I did score seven goals and six assists in the six games that I played with Hullet, and guys, he was definitely a better uh, distributor at Cam, but he really, really uh, thrived at Striker, and that is where he scored his most goals. So guys, let's get into the in-game stats, and then you'll get to check out those highlights right after that. Hullet's in-game stats, guys, 90 vision, 85 acceleration, 90 reactions, 87 sprint speed, 88 stamina, and 86 strength. He also has 87 ball control, 87 crossing, 91 curve, 93 free kick accuracy, 89 long passing, 89 short passing, and 86 volleys. Now he also has, obviously, the 4-star weak foot, 4-star skill move, guys, and the high medium work rate with the dribbler, playmaker, crosser, free kick specialist, strength, complete midfielder specialities, along with the power header trait. Uh, this is just an absolute beast of a card. So we're going to go ahead, guys, and take a look at some highlights and get right into Rude Hullet's pros and cons. But before we do, I just want to let you know that the games were in order, so the first three are in the cam roll, and the last three are in the striker position. Now, my first pro for this card, and one that never changed no matter the position, was his passing. An 89 rating on the face card, as well as 89 for both long and short passing. Hullet can, Hullet can deliver beautiful passes, long or short, and usually hit the teammates in stride. I mean, in six games, he had six assists. Honestly, could have even had more. There were a couple where his teammates hit the post or didn't quite finish it off. It's always nice to have a player who can pass and score, and Hullet is definitely that guy. Now, my second pro for his card is his strength. With an 86 strength rating and a stature that Hullet has, uh, he does a very nice job of holding up play, which can open up great his great passing or shooting. It definitely made a difference in his play for me. He can hold off defenders or even make crunching tackles in the midfield. Hullet's strength, like I said, opens up lanes and runs for his teammate, and I loved every second of it. Uh, this is good for an, uh, a midf any midfielder or striker, and Hullet um, definitely exploits this strength. My third pro for this card is something that with any player um, that gets forward is huge, and that is his shooting. Now, to be completely honest, guys, I probably could have scored 15 goals with him, um, but I couldn't keep it away from the post of the goal for some reason. Um, but Hullet's uh, shooting is class. Um, I firmly believe that he could score from anywhere on the field, long, short, chip shot, or even a free kick, which, by the way, his free kick stats are unreal. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to take a free kick with him, but I can only imagine I would have put a couple home. But like I said, guys, his shooting is something else, and combine that with his strength and unbelievable passing, Hullet is a threat to any defense, and I definitely felt my, uh, my opponents uh, focusing in on him and trying to shut him down. Keyword, trying to shut him down. 
Now I actually have one con for Hullet, and that is his mobility. Now this isn't something that shows up very often, um, but it was there every once in a while. It sometimes feels like Hullet isn't as agile as I would have liked him to be, probably because he's a 6'3", but nevertheless, guys, I wish he was a little bit more mobile. But besides that, guys, this guy is really unreal, and I really wish that he was affordable um, so that you guys could give him a go. Now, like I said, the first three games I put him in the cam position, um, he really just distributed a lot more than he did in the striker position and looked for other teammates. He was kind of a little bit farther back than he was in the striker position. So he would stay in that central role and make amu amazing passes just like that um, to set up his teammates for um, a goal. Now, it's striker guys, like, like he is right now, he stayed up top, made huge runs. He uses that pace to get away from the defender. And like I said, his finishing is just unreal. So really, you could put him at the cam or striker position. It just really depends on what role you want him to fill, whether you want him to be a distributor or whether you want him to score goals for you. So yeah, guys, um, he's definitely um, a little bit more effective at striker, but he definitely fits into that cam role. I can even see him, honestly, at the central midfield role. Um, but this is now going to go ahead and take me into the overall summary for Rude Hullet, guys, and I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, he deserves a near-perfect 9.9 .9 out of 10. I mean, had he been a bit more agile, he definitely would have been a 10 out of 10. He for sure has all the tools and really is an unbelievable player on this game. Uh, let's not forget about those crazy dr dreads that everyone can recognize from a mile away. Those are just awesome. Hullet's passing strength and shooting are something else. I really wish I would have gotten a free kick opportunity with him. I definitely would have put one home. I just I feel it. <laughs> His pros and cons, guys, are listed as well as the goals and assists I had in the games played. Um, so that, guys... Now leaves one legend left, and that is Pele, a card that I really don't think is really realistic to review. But once again, if any of you have the resources to pick him up, uh, that would be crazy. And if you want to let me review him, that'd be even crazier. <laughs> so once again, guys, thanks again to my man Knife for making this video possible. This squad was nasty. I truly appreciate you trusting me with your account. And up next in my videos, guys, I'm going to release a best possible squad builder video within the next couple of days, as well as a possible FIFA 17 Legends continued video. Um, as always, guys, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. I appreciate you guys checking out this review. And until next time, I will talk to you later.